When it comes to the overall success of a vineyard, possibly nothing is more important than planting vines correctly. A mistake made in pruning, training, irrigation, or any other vineyard management activity can have adverse effects on the performance of a vineyard, but usually can be corrected in a season or two with proper management. Planting vines, however, is one of those operations that you only get one chance to do correctly. And when done poorly, the vineyard quality and yield suffer for the life of the vines. There are a handful of key steps to take to ensure proper vineyard planting. The first step is to choose the correct plant material. Rootstocks and clones can be sourced from various nurseries. There are three predominant ways to plant vines. Dormant rootstocks that can be field grafted, dormant bench grafts, and green growing vines. No matter the type of vines selected, it is important to source high quality plant material that has good graft unions, well-developed root systems, and are also free from harmful viruses. Another key step to a successful planting is ground preparation. This can include sowing plowdown cover crops prior to planting to improve soil fertility, ripping, disking, cultivating, and spading to homogenize the soil, and incorporating proper amendments like compost and gypsum to decrease areas of compaction. Once the soil is prepared and the irrigation and trellis system are installed, vines are ready to be planted. This is a green growing vine. Some care needs to be taken while pulling the vine out of the pot. Pushing from below with a couple of fingers and squeezing the pot can help minimize damage to the roots. The roots are then inspected and loosened prior to planting. If there are any abnormalities, the vines should not be planted. The vine is planted with the top of the root ball level with the ground. It is very important that the soil is pushed around the root ball so there are no significant air gaps. As soon as the vine is planted, the irrigation is started with an emitter directly on the vine. The first irrigation is important in setting the soil around the vine. When the vines are newly planted, they should be watered one to two times a week, up to six gallons per irrigation. Dormant planting material can be a great choice for some vineyard sites. This option works best when planted prior to the middle of May. When inspecting dormant material, you should look for well-developed uniform root systems. The graft union should be solid and should not break under slight stress. The caliper of the wood should be roughly a half an inch and the overall length of the vine should be at least 18 inches. The wood should also be relatively round. Flattened wood would indicate too much vigor from the mother vine. It's important to cut into a few vines to make sure that there are no abnormalities in the wood. When planting dormant material, about a gallon and a half size hole should be dug. The soil is pushed around the root system and then it is important to pull up slightly on the vine to ensure the proper rooting angle. Water should also be applied immediately after planting, and as with all new vines, they should get about two to six gallons per week. It's also very important to remember to reduce irrigations towards the end of the summer to allow for proper lignification of the vines. If these basic planting principles are followed, vines have a much better chance of proper establishment, which should lead to a healthy, productive vineyard for decades to come. <laughs>